All right, hey guys, what is up? My name is Julia, and today is my official first and last prom. So before we jump right into this video, I just want to give you guys a little bit of context because that might be useful considering this scenario is not very traditional. So I'm currently a senior in high school, and as I'm sure most of you guys know, this past year has been a pandemic year because of COVID, and because of that, my junior prom was canceled. And also because of COVID, my school that I attended freshman through junior year had closed due to financial issues. So I had to transfer my senior year. We are getting a prom this year at school, but I'm not going to be attending it just because, first of all, I don't know many of the people there. Second of all, there are COVID restrictions because it's large gatherings of people. And third of all, the tickets are very expensive considering what we're going to be getting out of it. I kind of just wanted to celebrate with my really, really close friends from my old school and kind of have a small little event at my house. So that's what we're doing. So today, my family is hosting a friend prom. First of all, I just want to give a huge shout out to my mom and all of my family members that helped make this event so great. My mom has been working around the clock for the past month trying to get every little nitty gritty detail together and perfect for me and my friends. So I'm extremely grateful for that. She's like the pro event coordinator. Well, I have five of my other friends coming over today. We have Emily, Connie, Chloe, Heather, and Haley. This is my dress in the back. Oh, that's all you get to see. That's your sneak peek. You'll get to see it on later in this video. I'm going to be bringing you guys through the get ready with me process and also through some of the night. So without further ado, I'm going to start getting ready for prom. So yeah, let's just do it. Come to my bathroom with me, I guess. Also, this tank top is so cute. Cute. Um, I don't know. I don't have a follow-up statement for that. First of all, I'm just going to be cleaning my face and brushing my teeth. Okay, so now that my face is all clean, I'm just going to grab this little spa headband and go back into my bedroom because now we're going to do my makeup. I'll give you guys a really quick and like not very descriptive tutorial. If you want a full makeup tutorial, comment down below. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit psychotic with the way that I do my makeup, but you know what? It works for me and I'm a creature of habit. When I find something that works or something that I like, I just keep doing it. I kind of do my routine backwards, I feel like compared to most people. I do my mascara first. I finally found a mascara routine that I like. And let me just tell you, having Asian lashes is probably the most frustrating thing ever because first of all, they point straight down. So finding a mascara that actually holds the curl is nearly impossible. And also, I don't have many eyelashes. I'm not working with much here. So once you've curled your eyelashes, you're going to go in with mascara. This is my favorite mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, and it works so well. This is one of the best ones that I've found. Okay, so my spa headband just slipped off my head. I can't put it back on because I don't want to ruin what I just did. So I guess we're just going to have to be extra careful today. While my base layer of mascara is drying, I apply primer. I'm gonna go on with a little bit of the Glossier Boy Brow Gel. Okay, now second coat of mascara. I go in with concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, shade light medium. Okay, so once I blend all of that into my face, I go in with a little bit of Laura Mercier setting powder. I just have this spoolie and then this 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I just have the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze my face. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this Benefit Dandelion blush. Then I'm going to go on with my final coat of mascara. Okay, so it got really dark outside randomly and I feel like it's gonna start pouring. So hopefully that clears up before tonight because I'd like to get some photos outside. But anyway, now I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of highlight. I have the Too Faced Ray of Light. I'm gonna just go in with some Glossier Balm.com and then some Glossier Lip Gloss. Finally, I'm just gonna go in with some eyeliner. So I have the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner. I got this off of Amazon for like $5. That is thunder. I'm gonna cry. Mother Nature, please let me just have one good night, please. That is pretty much it for my completed makeup look. Um, The sky is looking extremely concerning right now. I don't have time to dwell about that. I can't control that. We're gonna go do my hair now. I'm just flat ironing it. It's really puffy. Like I haven't even brushed it today, which is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I haven't. Like this needs to be fixed. That's honestly all I'm planning on doing with my hair. I'm going for a really simplistic look. And I might be pinning some side pieces back behind my ears so it can stay out of my face. But other than that, that's it. See how my hair is done. This is the before. Okay, my hair is all done. Here's the final product. As you can see, it is significantly less frizzy and it just looks better in my opinion. It just looks a lot more polished, but it is raining out. <laughs> So that might be a little bit of an issue. Anyway, let's go get changed. 
Okay, hi. So these are the final earrings I settled on. I have the dangly pearl, pearl with the gold on my seconds, and then just a regular little gold stud on my thirds. Okay, I guess the last thing to do now is just to get changed. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, hi, a little dress reveal moment. This is the dress, this is me in it. I really love it, I love the off the shoulder fit. These are the shoes that I'm wearing, they're from Pretty Little Things, my feet already hurt, I've been wearing them for three minutes, but you know what, it's fine. Something I really, really love about this dress is that the beaded belt kind of looks like opals, and fun fact, opals are my birthstone, so uh, that's actually why I'm wearing an opal right now, and I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cute. Okay, little uh, reality check. It stopped raining, but for some reason, everybody in my town is losing power and in order for the dinner and you know I don't know to just listen to music we need power <laughs> Matter. Should I show my shoe? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you say hi. So it's the next day. I want to do a really quick senior gift haul of all the stuff that I got for my friends and my mom. I did not think my mom was participating in this ordeal, but she got little gift bags for me and all of my friends. It was really, really great. It was beautiful. By the way, if you want to see what I gave all of my friends as their senior gifts, you can go check out this video right here. So the whole motive of these senior gifts was to give practical gifts for college. So Connie gave me this little shower bag. This has like holes in it because it's this mesh material and it's super high quality. And there's like individual pouches on each side and it's really really big you can fit a lot of stuff in here too this is obviously super practical because you're gonna want to be showering in college because we don't want anyone stinky stinky okay so up next I guess I'll just do my mom so this was my mom's little senior gift to me and all of my friends a customized towel this is the cutest thing ever it just is the class of 21 and then it has my name on it look a little grad dog also my mom knows my favorite candy is Reese's I don't care that I'm saying that wrong I'm gonna keep saying it like that this is dangerous to have in the house because I will eat all of them in a day. And finally, she got this picture frame that has a picture of all of us in it. All right, so this is what I got for my friend Chloe. We got a pack of hangers, some high chews, a power strip for my dorm. This is gonna be very useful because I feel like they give you like three to four outlets and that's just not enough for the like 50 things I need to charge. And then finally, a pack of gum and first aid kit. Second to last, we have the twins. So they did like a conjoined gift. This is from Haley and Heather. So first of all, watch. Look how big this gets. Okay, let me explain. This is a laundry basket for my dorm. It's going to be very, very, look how big, like I love. We have fuzzy socks. These are an essential to any gift basket. They got us a nice thick set of these black masks. They gave us these little MacBook camera covers. So these are one of those things that you put over your MacBook camera and then you can just like slide it over, slide it back. This is really good for Zoom calls or if you're just like really paranoid about your privacy when it comes to the MacBook cameras. And then they also gave us, this is so cool, this little cheat sheet code of 
have all the different shortcuts that you can use on a MacBook. We have these super cute wristbands and then they color coordinated all of the items. So we have, I think this is called a shank, but I'm not 100% sure. We have pepper spray and a pro tip for my friend Heather, don't spray this while you're in the wind because it'll spray back in your eyeballs, <laughs> Heather. <laughs> We have a car alarm, and this is also doubles as a flashlight. So yeah, that's the little self-defense keychain. And then finally, they gave us this Duncan's gift card, but they customized it with a picture of all of us on the front. So even after I use this gift card, I'm gonna keep it because this is the cutest thing ever. And then finally, we have Emily. So that's what my friend Emily got us. She got us this super cute customized blanket. I love it so much. There's just a picture of all of us on here, and it's the cutest thing ever. It was so thoughtful. So thank you to all my friends and my parents and family members for making this prom so, so, so much fun. It was very untraditional, but also a blast. I'm honestly convinced that we had more fun at this little mini friend prom at my house than we would have had at actual prom. And I'm so grateful for all of these gifts that my friends got me and my family members. These are going to be so practical and useful for in college. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this prom video. I think that's enough of me today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super fun summer content is now on the way because we have finished our high school career officially. I'll see y'all next week. Bye guys.